what's up, what's up, this is Rico, don't forget to show me some love, hit the like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell, yeah. Shh. Mm, mm, mm. All for me, my friend, all for me. Okay, take a bite. Mm. Now this is called Zata. Mm. Darn mm. delicious. You know what, my friends? It's way too tasty and exciting to be on the inside. Let's take this on the outside. Hey, what's up fam? It's your boy Rico and I got something real special for you. So right about now I'm outside, it's kind of chilly, it's very windy. You can hear the traffic and everything, but we're doing what we got to do. We're going to check out this restaurant called Nahas Basha. Very tasty and delicious. So everything we made is fresh and we made it from start to finish in the store. Hi, my name is uh, Mohammed. I am an uh, assistant chef and sometimes I work uh, at cashier. Our special dish is called the Basha Menegish. It's uh, meat, but without vegetables. It's, uh, it's gonna be uh, just a meat and uh, some spices, that's it. But uh, the regular meat and uh, meat, uh, Menegish meat, it's uh, mixed with vegetables and meat. It shapes like a little boat, a canoe to be specific. This is the kishka manakish. It's yogurt, onions, tomatoes, and these little black seeds to give it a little, that extra kick. Mm. That requires some tea. I always love the crust on my baked products. So you get that creaminess from the yogurt, and you get that strong tomato presence. I love it. Spinach manakish. So it's wrapped up in this lovely triangular shape with these patterns on it, sesame seeds on the outside. It's loaded with spinach. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan, you can absolutely come here. You don't have to eat meat. And the only meat they serve will be beef and chicken. What I like about this mo is that the spinach, it's not bitter or anything. It's just, it's, to me, it's just mild. I've had spinach before where it's bitter, but this is just mild. It's shaped kind of like a flower in a strange way, but fancy, fancy eggs, cheese, olives. All wrapped up and shaped like a flower in a nice dough, right? Mm. It's pretty good. That cheese is so nice and just creamy. I think I prefer green olives, but I don't mind black olives. 
But if you want to choose one, I prefer the green. But this gives you a mix of both black and green. That's amazing. So that um, tanginess from the olives and that creaminess from the cheese. Ah, it's just perfect. Mm. <laughs> that bite was so big. Look at that. Next on the list, we got the, the sausage and cheese. Manakish. You can see the pieces of sausage here and here. And then that's cheese all over. And that's on top of your dough. It's almost like a thin slice of pizza. The sausage, but it's made from beef. So you know it's amazing. You said cheese and olives, tanginess, creaminess, and the crispiness from that um, nice uh, outer crust. This one is just as classy as the other ones before. There's vegetables on one side and cheese on one side. Right? Half and half like that. Sweet red peppers, onions, tomatoes, etc. etc. Spices and herbs. Mm. The, uh, the crust is so crispy, but soft. Soft but crunchy. You can hear that crunch. You get that sweetness from the tomato. Did you put tomato sauce as well? Yeah. Just okay, I, I can taste just a hint of that. So it's almost like the base for um, a pizza. Now let me get on to the uh, cheese side. Mm. Definitely amazing. What I like about these is that they're creative. They're not just ingredients tossed up together you can see it's well thought out everything from the shape to the concept it's all just creative these guys put a lot of time and thought into the way how they come up with their their designs and their recipes i, I love that about them so if i'm having a party i can see where this could these could be like awesome so it's perfect for breakfast perfect for lunch and you can even probably serve them up as hors d'oeuvres i don't know could be hors d'oeuvres right so anytime I'm having a party, I can see I have a batch of these. They're so creative. And there you have it, my friend. There's so much more on this menu to try out. I kind of just munch through to get a taste of everything. But it's way too much right now. But they're absolutely amazing. And like I said, I like the cool creative ideas um, and, thought, and thought that go into the designs of these recipes. They're tasty and very creative. There's even one that's shaped like an handbag. Spanish, everything here for mix, very good for number one in Hamilton, Manaish. Come for Nahas Basha, 16 Upper Gyms. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right, guys, as always, stay true and stay tuned. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Subscribe. Yeah, man.